Let us recall what we have studied in heat. The main source of heat The main source of heat is sun. We can obtain heat from combustion. Friction and electricity. So these are the main sources of heat. Heat is an energy that raises the temperature of a thing by causing the molecule in that thing to move faster. Heat is the total kinetic energy of the constituent particles of object and the SI unit of heat is joules. The measurement of warmness or coldness of a substance is known as temperature. Measurement of a measurement of warmness or coldness of a substance is known as temperature. Temperature is measured in Kelvin. That is, the SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Temperature determines the direction of flow of heat. Temperature will determine the direction of flow of heat. They will determine the direction of flow of heat when two bodies are placed in contact. When two bodies, when two bodies... Okay, when two bodies are placed in contact, are placed in contact, two objects are said to be in thermal contact if they can affect each other's temperature. Thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium. So, here, when two objects in thermal contact no longer affect each other's temperature is called as thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium exists when two objects in a thermal contact no longer affect each other's temperature. Most substance expand when heated and contract when cool. The expansion of a substance on heating is called the thermal expansion of that substance. A solid has a definite shape. So, when a hot solid is heated, it expands in all direction. That is in length, area and volume. All increases on heating. So, a solid has a definite shape. So, when a solid is heated, it expands in all the directions like length, area and volume. All increases on heating. The expansion in length is called linear expansion and the expansion in volume is called cubical expansion. Today we are going to see about heat. In that we are going to see about linear and cubical expansion. A solid has a definite shape. So when a solid is heated, it expands in all direction. That is in length, area and volume. All increases on heating. The expansion in length is called linear expansion and the expansion in volume is called cubical expansion. Why is the iron rim of a bullock cart wheel heated before it is fitted onto the wheel? Why is a small gap left between the two length of railway lines? We can perform an interesting experiment to find out an answer to these questions.
take a metal ring and metal ball of such size that the ball just pass through the ring heat the ball and check whether it pass through the ring it not pass through the ring now let the ball cool down and check whether it passes through the ring it passes through so solids expand due to heat and come back to the original state if heat is removed fitting the iron rim on the wooden wheel the diameter of iron ring is slightly less than that of the wooden wheel therefore it cannot be easily slipped on from the rim of the wooden wheel the iron ring is therefore first heated to a higher temperature so that it expands in size and the hot ring is then easily slipped over to the rim of the wooden wheel cool water is now poured on the iron ring so that it contracts in size and holds the wooden wheel tightly riveting rivets are used to join two steel plates together hot rivets is driven through the hole in the plates one end of the rivet is hammered to form a new rivet head when cooled the rivet will contract and hold the two plates tightly together gaps are left in between rails while laying a railway track during summer season the rail made of iron expand due to hot sunshine the end of the rail come closer and they may hit each other to avoid this expansion gaps are left between the end of the rails gaps are left in between two joints of a concrete bridge the concrete slabs expand during hot summer their edges may hit each other and causes dislocation to prevent this gaps are left in between two joints of a concrete bridge cracking of a thick glass tumbler glass is a poor conductor of heat when hot liquid is poured into the tumbler the inner surface of the tumbler becomes hot and expands while the outer surface remain at the room temperature and does not expand due to this unequal expansion the tumbler cracks electric wires electric wires between electric poles contract on cold days and sags in summers to solve this problem we leave wire slacks so that they are free to change length glassware used in kitchen and laboratory are generally made up of brosilicate glass the reason is that the brosilicate glass do not expend much on being heated and therefore they do not crack